Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 World of Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue our no shot run where we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty without shooting a single shot or using explosives. It is time for a retaliation mission where we're potentially going to fight against the hunter, so maybe it's not really going to work out. Uh, we're maybe going to lose New Indonesia. Uh, let's see if he's going to. Uh, come and fight with us again. We've just beaten him and I don't want to go in with Psy operatives yet again Technically we could do that though Just get some more experience. Let's see Nah, I want to make sure that they stay safe and nice at home and that we can upgrade the bond So we're going to go in with quote-unquote uh, the standard team and the only People that can hurt him in the standard team are the uh, specialists with uh, Comet Protocol and Hogbite himself, since the hunter is immune to melee. So let's hope that we're not going to find him and uh, even win the mission. Let's go. And here we go. We landed. Let's give it a good smacking. We do not have any form of concealment, unfortunately. There we go. Landed in the corner, got the high ground, which is not as good in this particular run. And we got to save a couple of civilians. So the one thing that I would uh, highlight here is that the whole concealment thing isn't too bad. It might not look great on paper, because the other options are better, but specifically for those missions here, if you're not having a, um, a Reaper, as in the class Reaper, with you, that's actually not too bad. Confirmed. All right, chrysalids and berserkers. Halo. What are we going to do with you, my friend? Let's see, is this here going to trigger uh, them? Yes, very good. The reason why I'm happy about it is both of them are melee units, so naturally they will try to come a little bit closer. That's exactly what I was hoping would happen. All right, we're charging in. Hopbite just takes the first hit. Well Within gets a focus, that's perfect. And also gets a parry. Or continuing. Might as well zirk him here. Might as well start uh, hitting. We would have untouchable and implaceable. So this is actually helping us out quite a bit. We're now untouchable. I'll keep the throwing axe. Nice, he's burning. Uh, we are pretty much immune to what he's trying to do at this point. Let's conceal ourselves and try to get over here. All right, that's one out of six rescued right from the get go. And both of our backline fighters will do exactly that. Stay back and use the high ground for a good overview. I think we're pretty much fine. The Berserk cannot really do much. He will uh, get a, a Blade Storm, even if it misses. We have Untouchable here on Zirkim. Yep. Alright, that pack here is something that we need to take a little bit more care of. 
And we're finally finding yet even more advent forces. Fantastic. Unfortunately, too far away for school jacking. And these guys here, no, they have not been triggered. But we can see them because we do have uh, our we do have our concealment right over here. Okay, let's move over. I think it's time to unleash uh, the dragon. Sounds a little bit like a Jet Li movie by thinking about it. There we go. Fantastic. Bring them on. We can handle a couple more. All right. Again, fantastic. And we got another pack over here. This here should trigger even the additional pack. Which is fine. Yeah, I was fully thinking that we might trigger that uh, pack over here. Okay, fair enough, or not. Alright, can we... Can we... Uh, do a couple of interesting maneuvers. So, if we were to move up. No, we can't move up. I was hoping we could. Oh, we can. Okay, we can move up. Perfect. So, if we move up here. Moving to designated position. That'll give us a bonus. Uh, um, uh, bonus uh, safety. Now is a fantastic time to set these guys up uh, to die. And we'll continue to kill the Berserk. He's burning. The fire will eventually kill him. Good. We got another... We got another... Mimic beacon down there, but before we're using it, like I said, it's time to unleash the dragon. Could even go for Reaper and kill this guy. Big deal. All right, advanced stock. Implaceable right, moves over here. Bladestorm would be able to kill him. We're going for another parry. And just to make sure that we're not missing with Bladestorm. Common Protocol just kills the guy. Moving up. Mainly so that we're in range for school mine for the follow-up uh, follow uh, kills. And we don't have conceal left over. Roger that. So for now we're just hunkering down. Hunkering down. And it's one Spectre. I am really not afraid at all of uh, the Spectre. Which is why we're not even going to waste the Mimic Beacon. Only thing that he can do is Shadow uh, mm, shadow Melt. We can immediately counterplay that next round and kill it. Got another pack up here that we would need to deal with. And I think other than that we've almost cleared everything. Got a pack here, got a pack here. That's five down, seven... Uh, maybe one additional pack. Not 100% sure why the game is taking so long.
already saved two civilians one here one down here two additional ones potentially here one potentially over here so even from a civilians count we would do fairly well two further civilians back here and they can't all be faceless ones so we're eventually going to get there the enemy just decided to do nothing okay cool well you have the free right to decide to do that. Okay, so enemies are here. Uh, we're just going to move, uh, pull with Bladestorm. This is the shot we've been waiting for. Oh, I see what it is. Well, guess what? We found Mr. Archon himself. Looks like one of them came back for more. Let's make sure to take it out this time. He seems still pretty pissed about uh, being taken out the last time. Good. How about we're just starting with the basics here, Hopbite? Takes an A protocol. And I guess the question that we're all asking ourselves is who were to create a ghost? That would be double blade storm, right? <laughs> That's not bad. I like the idea. The Archon King would be able to move, though. Not fully reach us. We could get rid uh, of the mech over here. It's probably not the worst idea. Yeah, let's just hit it. Let the Archon come a bit closer. Mech is stunned, which uh, equates it being out of combat for now. Ruler reaction just to come a little bit closer. That's fine for us. Yeah, we're not requiring any Haywire protocol. Nope, can't reach the Archon uh, yet. So what we could do with Hogbite is we could basically put him kind of in the middle here and let the Archon come even closer. What you do not necessarily want to do with the Archon is like cluster up too much usually a bad idea don't want to hit this guy we could charge over mm, but I think we're better off focusing the Archon King himself I would like him to come a bit closer though Alright, Halop has the uh, katana, so I will get, uh, catch him some slack here. We really don't want him to in just way. run in. I want him to fight against the cho uh, the uh, the alien oh, ruler. All right, there's the blade storm. And by the way, we just found a faceless one. Elsewise, um, he wouldn't be able to react. Faces one uh, discovers us. 
Yeah, and with that, the whole thing here starts becoming interesting. Um, I think we're being um, caught right up there, which is fine. We're just going to counter with the combat protocol. That means he will let him drop. Hogbite is down there. Nothing happened. Guy comes down. And did he take another Blade Storm attack? I'm not sure. Alright. Again, it's a bit confusing. A couple of graphical bugs. Uh, what we can do, though, is we can definitely start hitting uh, this guy. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Because now we do have two people with Bladestorm right next to him. That'll provoke a reaction. And with the reaction, even more Bladestorm attacks. One. Devastation will probably hurt a bit. Halop here is out of actions. Um, Hogbite uh, certainly could move away. Let's move him to right over here. The explosion will happen. Halo will take some damage. Moderate though. We are going to continue to heal. That should not trigger anything because we're far, far out of uh, reach. Good, now is the time uh, to use Diva here. And we're charging in. The idea is that, again, we have at least two people with Bladestorm standing next to the Archon King. Armor still holding. Miss, there should be a second Bladestorm attack. All right, apparently that's a no. Good, instead of letting him just take damage up there, we're going to continue with combat protocol. Originally, I wanted to shift over another action and uh, use the Mimic Beacon. Since that's off the table now, we're probably going to take some damage over here uh, from the faceless one. But overall, we should be fine. The ruler could come down and with his move potentially get some more blade storm attacks. Yeah, we're going to take some damage this round, but nothing should be too serious. The actual uh, problematic enemies have been taken have been taken out with the mech right here. Okay, well, the explosion I haven't accounted for, so that's a bit of a problem. Yeah, we're nicely fighting back. Well, good old Shadowbound. On the flip side, I mean, we've pulled almost the entire map. And on the uh, flip side, though, 
none of the enemies actually could get really close uh, uh, to the civilians. Okay, revival protocol, like I mentioned, nice little counter right there. Good, we could go for the Archon, A Spectre definitely is an option. Where exactly is the Archon King is the question. Yeah, we're going to go and kill the Archon King. So he's trying to move away, but uh, in his last futile attempt to move away, he failed. Good. And we got ourselves... We got ourselves uh, uh, a nice kill right there. Now we got a Mimic Beacon here for Zirkim. Commander, that's the last of them. Rebot science experiments. Three alien rulers down for the count. At the very least, we know Valen is still out there somewhere. And All right, some we got that taken care of. Let's try to clean up the battlefield as much as we can. Did we really just get it down to one hit point? Oh my gosh. Well, the next one that needs to die is the Spectre over here, that's for sure. Alright, Halo. Starts hitting the Spectre. There we go, that's one. We're going to put in Reaper mode. That here is number two. One down, thousands to go. Very nice. That's two for one. Continuing with the heavy mech. Okay, we're continuing over here. That's a hit, but not a kill. But luckily for us, we can advance teamwork and Reaper will still be active. Debut continues to just slice and dice. And since we got untouchable, we might use him for the Mimic Beacon, to be entirely honest. Because we can simply kill. Done. That's untouchable and implaceable. Implaceable moves in here. We're parrying. And let's throw Mimic Beacon right there. Fantastic. I think overall it turned out well. There was like this one turn where it was a little bit closer. But overall the Bladestorm uh, the positioning and 
yeah, the sustained damage was too much for the enemy to handle. Good. We're just continuing to mop the floor with uh, these guys. Top right here. Softens up the enemy. And I think Eva so far could use some more kills. Just to get to that colonel rank. Wells could use a kill. Do we have combat protocol left over? I think the answer is no. Nope, no combat protocol left over. Which means we can simply kill the Archon here. And that's the end of the mission, I suppose. Menace 1 5, status confirmed. We're not picking up any additional contacts. The AO is clear. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Cool, that will give us the equal suit. I totally forgot about the Archon King. It's been a while since I played, so that was not on my radar. But yeah, equal suit, fantastic. Very, very good. Good, let's see. We got a promotion here. Halo uh, gets untouchable, but he's fantastic. Almost there, buddy. One more rank. And it seems with that we've uh, grown in some of the bones. On your order, I can begin conducting an autopsy Hello, on the latest of Balin's test subjects. We have an opportunity. Good. Once uh, the codex research is done, we can definitely the research the Icarus suit. Soon as possible. I don't need any loot at this point. That's just for the sake of healing faster. Let's heal. Let's actually heal faster. Mexico. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There is another UFO up there. Don't want to have anything to do with that, so we're just flying far, far away. Good, and we got another low-level character finished. Guerrilla Tactic School now finishes, hopefully, the last training with another ranger. Which is cool, we got like the full low level squad of sergeants here. Fantastic. So our low level squad would be... Specialist, Specialist, Ranger, Ranger, Skirmisher, and we would probably switch out the Skirmisher for another Ranger once we have that one trained. Speaking about training, I wonder what the next Psy Operations abilities are. Heads gets Inspire as well. Both of them started with Inspire, both of them continue. Oh, he has all of the damage abilities. Fantastic, that's what I was looking for. Continues with Null Lens, both of them. Heads definitely has potentially as all of the damage abilities. That's what we were initially looking for. I'm glad to see our joint effort paid off like we hoped. Um, Roby gets nine additional uh, dodge, which is what we wanted in the first place. There is another nine dodge here. Got some promotions, but I think we're going with a nine dodge. And let's continue with that. We don't really don't need the weapon upgrade, but. Almost 10 dodge is a pretty nice reward to give him sustainability in the battlefield. Good. Got ourselves the option to use the skull check on codices. Uh, that can uh, help 
uh, from now on going forward. Archon King is being researched. And by the way, I think we got a second shell, um, gatekeeper shell that is. So can we upgrade? No, we still need one more gatekeeper. Okay, cool. Good, so we need one more gatekeeper um, and we need to school Jake um, a codex. Major breakthrough, not a problem. Go ahead. Or minor breakthrough rather. On the Avatar project. Taking out that facility would deal a serious blow to their efforts. Good. Whilst everybody slowly but surely recovers, I think we wanted to like use our ma maguses and increase the bond. Yep, that's a good idea. Another important step forward in our research. Good. We just got the Icarus armor. Proofed sniper rifles does literally nothing for us. Can research the Sonic Gate. That is good. And in terms of engineering, armor. Yeah, we're upgrading the rage suit, although we're probably not going to wear it. Icarus armor, we're uh, we're missing one core. Oh, that is unfortunate. Okay, the moment that we get one, we should uh, certainly upgrade the Icarus armor. Last time I remember, we still had three cores. Good, so this one here is Lost uh, Swarm, which is really not that bad. And the Hidden Event, which is probably what we're going to do. Uh, there are losts on this mission as well, but uh, we should be fine, guys. We actually should be fine. So it's going to be a fun mission. Uh, another one that we uh, can do. Let's take a last look on the general timing. We got seven days and 14 days. Um, got our month end drop in five. Gotta hope that the chosen is not yet ready to uh, to shoot us down. That would be unfortunate. I mean, one thing that could happen is he's ready to shoot us down, but we're then getting the uh, the uh, covert ops mission to counter his action that could help us. That actually could help us, but yeah, I would like to have one more month before we're going there. Uh, it's it's dangerous to get into his uh, into his uh, sanctuary with two very very junior um, psi operatives. If we can get more like damage skills, that'll be fine, and we definitely need the upgrade uh, from the psi amp because here's the deal if the null lenses deal 9 to 15 damage the 60 to 80 hit points of the sarcophagus are not going to be a problem or the um, void rifts for i don't know six to nine points of damage because what you're then going to see is that we're actually going to hit the sarcophagus pretty hard and it's a matter of whether or not it even goes down in one go or if we take two rounds. Uh, it kind of depends on the damage rolls. But here's the thing. Uh, if we still go in with kind of that ballistic weapons equivalent of uh, Psy Ms, that's uh, a different story. That will be much, much more difficult. And I don't want to lose a uh, soldier uh, in attempting that. We only got one shot and I want to make it uh, right. I feel comfortable like fighting back against him even if he shoots us down. It will stall the game a little bit more, but those of you who kind of understand how uh, the uh, fights against the Chosen work, uh, you can uh, probably understand why melee immunity uh, and regeneration is just a really shitty combination to deal with. 
So for that particular run, I got to stall it out a bit more, find a way uh, to like level up more psy ops and then essentially get him down. Anyways, that's it for today, guys. We're seeing each other in the next mission. If you enjoyed the uh, run, slam the like button and uh, leave a comment down below. See you in the next episode. Bye bye.